Hey friends, happy Sag season. So I am here to talk about Sagittarius season. I'm really excited that, you know, we're moving out of the Scorpio energy and I do love me some Scorpio, but with all the other additional energy with Mars retrograde and like the Capricorn stuff happening and then, you know, Mercury retrograde and then being in a pandemic, it was just like a lot emotionally. I'm sure you guys feel that. So I'm really happy to start um, moving forward essentially out of like this really like fixed, dark, like serious place um, and moving into some kind of like, you know, more, I would say when I think about Sagittarius, Sagittarius is fun. Sagittarius is playful. And so I'm really excited to bring some of that into our lives, even though interestingly enough, this time of year is not, um, you know, at least where I am in uh, the Northern Hemisphere in, in New York at this moment, it is pretty cloudy and dark and rainy and we're really moving into um, winter. And so that's like one of the things I really do um, when I think about the modalities of these signs and these seasons, it's like this is the time where um, the energy is kind of um, moving back and forth in a sense. And you can see that just in your environment, how like some days it's fall and it's nice still. And then other days it's like, it feels more like winter. So it's kind of like this in-between energy um, as we really start to figure out, you know, solidify that next season. So the next season, as far as like being, um, moving into a different season or a different shift is going to be that winter solstice. But we'll get into that as we move forward into Sag season. But the biggest theme I would say in particular with this Sagittarius season 2020 is the idea, and shout out to Colleen for this, but the idea of where am I going to direct my arrow? When you think about, you know, the Sagittarius is the archer, it's like, where am I directing my energy? What am I gonna focus on? What am I gonna pull to me? Or where am I gonna, you know, what area of my life or desire or goal am I going to connect myself with? And so um, with Mars being direct in Aries, now as we move into Sagittarius season, there is a trine happening between Sagittarius and Aries. And so this trine is, is creativity and it's a fire trine. So there's a lot of um, creativity and passion and just this feeling of special destiny or some sense of purpose. So it's reconnecting to that. And the sun and Mars actually work well together the sun is exalted in aries and so there's like this strength in this very like um this confident in wills and desires and so i feel with any particular season it's initially we're getting started on addressing like what the theme is or what our desires or what we're feeling called to do at this moment we're addressing that and then as we move further into that season we begin to stabilize that desire that intention and so this is the time especially at the beginning of Sagittarius season where it's a time to really get clear on your intentions we've had so much time this year to really um, think about our actions, our desires, and what we want for our future, whether it be on an individual level or collective level. And so as I'm reading this book, Creative Visualization, one of the things that I just read last night that really like kind of sat with me was the three elements of your getting clear with your intention or the three elements when it comes to creatively visualization and leading to manifestation. So those three elements is first, desire, really knowing and feeling your desire, knowing what it is that your goal is, what, what you're striving for and being very clear with, with, with that desire. Then second is the belief, being clear on that belief. And so you might have these different goals, but if you don't believe that you can achieve it, then I mean, it's, it's, that's another area within your own personal development, spiritual development that you would have to address first. So once you are clear with that desire, it's like, do I actually believe that I can attain this, this goal or that I can, you know, um, really manifest whatever it is I'm, I'm setting out to manifest. And then the third element is going to be acceptance. So in my own personal life and also working with clients, you know, we have a desires, we believe that we can, you know, manifest that desire, but 
it's weird because once you get to the point where you really want it, all these other limitations or when you are manifesting it, all of these other limitations come into play and you just feel guilty sometimes for, you know, say if you want abundance, you want wealth, you want a lot of money and then you start to get that then you feel weird about it and then you create you manifest some other scenario of where you end up like you bring in all that money but then you lose it because there's a something like a feeling of guilt or shame or fear um of having that of like i mean a lot of us also have to really sit with the idea of actually being happy like a lot of us you know we want to be happy we, we want to be abundant but when that comes you know sometimes it comes with a lot of guilt or heaviness especially in um, a pandemic right now because so many people are suffering and so at times it might you might feel you know a certain way about thriving in the world that we live in today and it's like you might feel like you're forgetting you know others and so i feel like that's the biggest <laughs> biggest one to overcome is being accepting and really allowing and bringing forth that that intention that goal accepting it in into your life and really feeling good about what you have achieved and so that is something i will be talking about a lot within my cosmic climates and if you guys follow me on instagram i talk about that i'll be talking about that a lot because there's also this trinity and you guys know i love triangles and pyramids and stuff um so there's a trinity also that they brought forth in this book of beingness doing this and having this and it works right in, right with these um these three elements so I'll definitely be sharing that with you guys and so also another um key experience or key energy that's coming through during Sagittarius season is eclipse season starts it initiates at the end of November with the full moon in Gemini and then we have a new moon in Sagittarius and <clears throat> in December. And so when an eclipse season starts, that pretty much initiates a six month um, cycle within your life in regard to the themes that um, initiate during that time. And so with, in particular with the eclipse season between Gemini and Sagittarius, there is this reprogramming of the mind and directing your energy, like channeling and focusing your energy. As I said, where are you shooting your arrow? What are you striving to achieve? What do you want to connect yourself with? Whether it's with your, you know, your identity, figuring out what your individuality is, what you stand for, what you um, are willing to fight for, or is it your audience? If you just launched um, a brand, it's like, are you trying to directly connect with, with your community and those like-minded groups? What is it that you are intending to um, connect with? And so with that eclipse season between Gemini and Sagittarius, it is um, reprogramming the mind and really addressing that South Node element of the belief systems that you were born with, that you were born into, cultural beliefs, what has been a limitation for you, what has been holding you back. That's kind of that South Node energy, those comfortable beliefs. It's time to really break through the comforts and emotionally evolve towards that north node which is gemini and being flexible in your perspectives and being able to be um objective to your environment see the weak links and connect those dots and so that gemini energy is moving us towards connectivity and it's through the mind it's through the different perspectives so allowing these different ideas to come through and how can you connect those ideas? How can you create a new structure? Because a lot of us, especially millennials and then Gen Z, um, which is Pluto and Sag people, uh, millennials are Pluto and Scorpio people, just you know, for a little background on that. Um, but I feel like our generations are here to really, um, you know, recreate the structures of society where it is more aligned, um, more connected to just all the things, nature, the universe, you know, our own spiritual will and spiritual power, and also bringing in those elements of the past and those ancient principles of like last night I was doing a deep meditation and what came to mind was just like, we have to get back to the basics, like looking at our own communities, where are the, who are the farmers, who are the medicine makers, who are the teachers, the seers, the healers, like we all need to like be in our power, be in, in our, our flow so that we can come together and connect because not everyone's meant to be an economist, not everyone's meant to be like, um, 
a computer programmer, I'm just like thinking about the, the lanes of that people usually are like, I want to make as much money as possible because that's how this world works. So I'm going to go into finance. I'm going to go into technology, which it's great if that is your calling. But if it's not like you don't have to do that, what is your, you know, what's your calling? Um, and I feel like with Sagittarius season, it is that call of the wild. And so um, another thing that I want to point out is while we're still um, while we're shifting out of Scorpio season, um, we still have Venus just moves into Scorpio as I'm recording this on November 21st. So with that, there's bringing a little bit of lightness to the dark. There's still an attraction, a strong pull to the mysteries and what lies beneath. But now there's really gonna we're really gonna start to feel that balance. We're gonna, really gonna start to feel that healing, and we're gonna bring things into um, harmony with each other that we are whatever we're finding um, within this emotional process whatever information we're gaining because mercury is still in scorpio as well so mercury and venus are sharing this space um mercury is bringing forth that information and it's going to complete its cycle and move into sagittarius before venus and so venus is coming after mercury and kind of just like you know finessing and bringing some good vibes to that part of um the experience and as mercury moves into sagittarius i feel like we'll start to become really kind of chatty about what's been happening really starting to share ideas and really like speaking truth and then venus will also enter um sagittarius later in sag season and it'll it'll bring a little bit more joy as well into that and really bringing others like opposite sides together is kind of the goal with that and <clears throat> also later in Sagittarius season we have both Saturn and Jupiter moving into Aquarius so there's going to be a feeling of progression a feeling of just like being very connected to um, the cosmos universal energy being connected to the past present and the future and being able to see you know how we can start to restructure our communities and really starting to get to work with that um, and so we'll have that Mars um, Aries <clears throat> try or sextiling the Aquarius energy so there's going to be a lot of forward motion happening and we're going to start to really feel the shift I feel December is going to be really um powerful as, as far as far as getting the gear started and initiating some new cycle we have you know the saturn jupiter alignment in aquarius on the sum on the winter solstice and so that will definitely be very strong energy to work with along with the mercury sun kasimi um that is happening shortly before that and then shortly before that is going to be that new moon in sagittarius i believe it's a total solar eclipse so there's a lot of energy packed into december so um, start to kind of, like I said, get the gears rolling now and figuring out where it is you want to direct your arrow. And then as we move closer to Capricorn, which is the cardinal energy, and it's really getting things started and starting to move forward and, and um, really make those plans, um, those master plans, then you will have some sort of direction already because you've been doing the work ahead of time. So I feel really complete with that. As always, I'm going to be sharing um, the week by week energy and that's my cosmic climate. So definitely tune into that if you want to learn more. I have some availability still, although I'm filling up pretty quickly with the Jupiter Saturn Aquarius alignment, um, those astrology readings with that. So you can get a private video sent to you of an interpretation of how to work with that energy. Um, and that is available via the, the link in my bio if you're watching this on Instagram or in the description below on YouTube. And if you want to meet me on Zoom for a little bit more longer reading and you can ask questions on the spot, I still have some available spots for that also. And you can just message me um, with or comment if you are interested in that option. So I'm really excited to be moving forward and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.